it's about that time again for treasure hunters in Fallout 76. So let's maximize your efforts by revealing the best farming route that includes 20 locations. Plus, we'll be giving you some bonus tips. So stay tuned. If you're new to Treasure Hunters, this is a limited time event that features legendary mole miners that drop, you guessed it, treasure. Now this event is excellent for farming rare plans, script, and even caps. You could get these caps by actually selling all your unwanted loot either at the train stations or in your personal vending machine at your camp. Now if you need to know what the rewards are or which rewards are the rarest or maybe the most expensive, check out my other guides which will all have links in the description below. Treasure Hunters can literally spawn in any location where enemies can spawn, with the exception of indoor locations, which is any place with a load screen. Because they can spawn almost anywhere, this video will help narrow down your search, yielding the best outcomes. So let's start by going over what exactly you're looking for when you're hunting for Treasure Hunters. Treasure Hunters are legendary enemies, so sometimes you'll spot them quickly because of their green glow. They have a blinking red light that also makes them easier to spot. If you don't see any, you can also track them by this radiant noise they emit. So a lot of times you will hear them long before you see them. They run pretty fast, so this sound will literally help you track them down. They come as either one, two, or three star enemies. They're supposed to drop a legendary item, which is normally script, and a mole miner pail. Supposed to is the keyword in that sentence though. The mole miner pails come as either dusty, regular, or ornate. Ornate yields the highest possibility for rewards. All pails can drop plans and loot, but you will not be guaranteed a reward with any of these pails. To open the pails, you'll need to find them under aid, so just click on them and they will be opened. You should see your earned rewards in the top left of the screen pop up. Here comes your first tip. Make sure to adjust your audio settings. I usually turn down footsteps, turn off music altogether. I turn off effects and voice because sometimes you can hear their breathing or grunting too, which is a dead giveaway if you're in a location that doesn't spawn mole miners. Tip two, if you don't hear them, don't waste loads of time looking for them, move on. Now in some locations you will have to search a little bit, but don't go out of your way to check every building. More tips to come, let's get into these locations. Fair warning though, not every location will always yield treasure hunters. Couple this with the fact that other players can also kill them. This makes this event particularly tedious and hard to farm. But first, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to give me a big Vault Boy thumbs up and consider nuking the subscribe button on the way out. And also share this video with anybody you know that needs help trying to find these guys. The very first place I start when I'm hunting for treasure hunters is going to be down here at Camden Park. So I start down at the bottom of the map and I'll kind of work my way around. Alright, so stop one is Camden Park. So this is Camden Park, just in case you don't know it. Normally what I do is, is I actually just kind of come up to the side here, right behind this red little tent thing here. And I'll listen to see if I hear any treasure hunters. I then go to this side to see if I hear anything because they can spawn back there. And if I don't hear anything, I usually just hop up and over. And a lot of times you'll find them actually inside the bathrooms. Why? I'm not 100% positive. But you can find them over here. So just make sure that you're listening really good because they can, like I said, be inside the bathrooms. And then I usually just kind of come around here. I go through there to see if I can hear any of them. And if I don't hear any, I normally stop. But you definitely want to make sure that you check out over next to the other actual restrooms here. So the other restrooms are right there. So you should be able to hear them or see them right from this area just in case you don't want to go over there and get all wrapped up with the other enemies. From Camden Park I actually just hop right over here to Brim Quarry. Now this location you'll need to check the top and the bottom. There will be normal mole miners here. So you should be able to hear them. They'll spawn in right there. And then you just want to run up the hill here and you want to make sure that you go around this way, go up and around that building back there and then just kind of come back down through here. You should be able to see them and or hear them prior to this. Stop number three is Mount Blair Train Yard. So that is right here. So you'll see it right there. 
BattleBot normally spawns in. This is a triggered event. You don't have to actually do it when you come down here, but if you do want to do it, it's a pretty quick event. It's not too bad. All right, so where you want to look down here is just make sure you run kind of down the tracks, and you want to make sure you go through that building down there and on the back side, and then just kind of walk closer to this hill here. You should be able to hear them if you're going to be able to hear them. I wouldn't suggest actually going up and around and trying to go all over the building. It just takes too much time. From Mount Blair train yard to spot number four is actually Welch or the train station at Welch so I actually come to the train station I kind of hop on top of the roof and just kind of look around to see if I can see anything I don't normally go down into the bottom unless I'm really having a hard time trying to find them and then I might search around a little bit from Welch, I normally kind of hop right over to Foundation because it's free fast travel, and then I actually travel down here to Fort Defiance. Now, this is where Lion the Sand actually triggers, and you'll actually see them in the front there, like right where Lion the Sand actually happens, like that little battlefield there. That's where they'll spawn in at. So you just kind of hop down there and kind of look around real quick and then just leave. And from there, I actually head over to Huntersville. Now this location has lots of super mutants, so just be mindful of that. From Huntersville, I actually just head right up to West Tech. Now West Tech, you just need to search in the front where all those super mutants spawn and then just run around to the back. A lot of people forget that there's actually super mutants in the back there. And most of the time, if you can't find, even if like they're dead in the front, you run around to the back. Half the time, there's one back there. So make sure that you're searching in the back. From West Tech, I actually head right up to National Isolated Radio Array. Now, this tip actually came from one of my viewers during a live stream. They said they had been finding at least one or two almost every single time they went here. And then they hop right over to National Radio Astronomy Research Center and then Sugar Grove, which is right up here. From the satellite area here, I actually head right over to the golf club here at White Springs. Now, this area is very unique. I've had either five or six actually spawn all together here. I can't remember which number it actually was, so I don't want to mislead you, but this place is a gold mine. A lot of them spawn in. It's perfect because you can actually hear them most of the time when you spawn in. Sometimes you can't quite hear them, so I just kind of run up to the windows and kind of look in, and you should be able to see them as well. And by that point, you should actually be able to hear them as well, too. So if they're downstairs, you'll be able to hear them as well from up here. So you won't actually have to enter if you don't hear any by the time that you run up to the windows and start looking in. All right, so we're now going to be going over to spot number 12. So from the golf course, I actually head straight up here to Pleasant Valley Ski Resort. Now, this location is very unique. It has two locations actually included. So a lot of people only come through here and actually check in this area. So you would go down and around, and you just would keep heading straight down and then go inside because they can spawn inside. But if I don't normally go inside, if I don't hear them right away, so I just kind of leave. But the other place that you need to go to is you need to make sure that you run to the back here, which is the cabins. Now, the cabins is a very big area as well. You have this whole area here. And then you have up top on the hill here. So you need to make sure that you're actually checking up here as well. Then you have down here where there's some turrets, so make sure that if you do go inside this building, you're looking out for the turrets because they will mow you down. Then you have all these other cabins right below here as well. And in between these two, you have a whole nother section, which you can actually run down between as well. So just make sure you're kind of looking all the way through. So there's the middle part. Here's the back side. A lot of us just kind of run up and around through here and a lot of times if you hear one when you approach here you can actually see them right here through the window or take out these bad guys so you don't even have to actually go inside but you should be able to hear them like I said from right here and then the last place you'll need to check is right over here from the Pleasant Valley Ski Resort and or cabins, I normally fast travel straight over to Helvetia. Now Helvetia is going to be number 14 on our stop, and this is where Fajna actually occurs. So make sure that you hop over there. I normally find at least one, if not two or three in this location. From there, I actually head over to the Morgantown Airport. It will always spawn you in right here at the station, so you can pick any of those and it will spawn you and take you right there.
once you're actually at Morgantown Station, like I said, if you go to Morgantown Airport, it like literally spawns you out like right here. Anyway, so the airport's right there. I actually head over to my first stop, which is the Morgantown train yard. So I normally just head straight down through here. And I'll take you on this route because like I said, it's a couple locations down through here. I make sure that I kind of hop up on the trains here and I walk around all the buildings. So, well, really on top of the buildings, I should say. Because, I mean, I'm not walking through them unless I have to. I kind of just kind of run up and hop on top. You should be able to hear one or see one right through there. Most of the time you're going to hear them. You're not really going to see them. And then I just kind of hop down and around. Go back up and over. And a lot of times they'll be inside these buildings right outside or right in here. Now, after here, I actually just hop straight over the fence. And you want to run right up here. Now I've found two sitting right here at this location. So make sure you kind of stop by there before you head over to the train station. And the train station is right here. So from the train station you just hop, I mean, yeah, from the train yard, I guess I should say, you just hop right over here. And you'll normally see them right around in here. If you don't see anything, you can hop up on the roof and check the back side of the building and see if you find anything there. You don't really need to go any further than right through here. Like you just want to make sure you're looking down through there and right through here. Because they don't normally, in my experience, spawn actually up there in those sheds. I've never seen one up there. I've been doing this event for years. And I can't tell you how many... I've actually killed in this location. So make sure you come up here and farm these few locations. Heading on to location number 17 for Morgantown Airport or the train yard, I actually head straight over to Monago. So Monago is one of the towns where there's mole miners. From here, I actually go right up to Sunny Top Lanes. There's super mutants up here, so just be aware. And there is a basement, and there's a couple different cabins. From Sunny Top Ski Lanes, I actually hop right over here to Wavy Willards. Now, this area is pretty large, so some people don't like to come up here. However, it can be a gold mine because it is so large. You can find them just about anywhere. Just be aware if you do hear them that sometimes they are hiding down below underground because those areas are open doors and so they can't get down there so if you don't really feel like looking and hunting and searching all over the place maybe just kind of run across the tops that's kind of what I do and just kind of listen and if I don't find them right away sometimes I just leave but just make sure you're kind of looking around all the nooks and crannies and my final stop on my route is actually Tyler County Fairgrounds now this location a lot of people don't go to this one as well it is normally pretty easy to find them. You do have to run to the back side of this location when you spawn in. You'll be at the top of the hill. You just want to run straight to the back side to the very last building back there because sometimes they are in that building and you can't hear them until you get close to that area. So that was my 20 locations I normally farm. Now, like I said, they can spawn anywhere the enemies can spawn that's not inside. So this is by no means an all-inclusive map. I have my preferences and so does everybody else. So one thing is, is just make sure that you understand is that this is the way I like to do it. I'm just trying to help you guys out by giving you some different locations that other people might be giving you and just more locations to actually look around because a lot of times when on the weekend if you're trying to do these you end up finding them dead or you don't find them at all so you kind of need to have a backup plan now I know a lot of people like to go over here to the Palace of the Winding Path but that place is humongous and in my opinion not really worth actually going to but that's my personal opinion it's just because the buildings are so tall and have you know several layers and you have to kind of go all the way in and outside and go through all the buildings and that just takes up too much time so in that same respect, one of my tips is, is if you don't hear or see them right away, I would say don't try to go through every part of the building. Like don't go through every, every place, you know what I'm saying? Like don't go inside and go through every single, you know, house and cabin or what have you. Just kind of run on the outside and if you don't hear anything or see anything, then you're probably good and you can probably just head out. Now, if you're running low on caps... 
you'll usually hear them before you see them if you actually head over to the golf course. Now like I was saying when we went over here before, you can hear them right there. You might have to run up to the window to kind of get it to activate, but you can hear them. Like if they're downstairs, you'll hear them upstairs. Like you're not going to have a problem hearing them. So with that being said, this is the place that I spawn if I'm in a hurry and don't have very much time. Like I literally will just spawn in hop on top of the uh, bus there for a second, wait a second, if I don't hear anything, run up to the windows, and then if I don't hear anything, I leave the server and load back in, and you'll be right at the same location, and you just can keep on doing this until you actually find a treasure hunter. So that is one of the last tips I actually have for you. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a big Vault Boy thumbs up for me and consider nuking the subscribe button on the way out. And if you have other questions, please make sure to list them down below. Or if you have other locations you feel like is way better than anything that I've told you, then please feel free to drop those in the comments below as that can help out other players as well and even possibly myself. I will be live streaming this so make sure you stop by and cheer me on as I try to find the pink sprinkles power armor paint. Alright guys I really appreciate everybody for watching this video and I just want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members. You guys truly make this possible and I love you guys. Just thank you guys so much for all your support.